What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. So guys, in this tutorial, I will take you through how to access graphical user interface of the Mac OS EC2 instance via Windows. And guys, I have already covered how to spin up Amazon EC2 Mac OS instance and SSH or login into the same followed by the another video tutorial on how to access graphical user interface of the Mac OS via VNC using Mac operating system. And the links are in the video description. So guys, I already have the instance up and running. So I will directly SSH into this instance. So here it is. I will say enter. And I am into that instance that is Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7. So now the next step is to set the password for the current user and the current user is EC2 hyphen user. Correct. And Basically, uh, we are going to use VNC. So we need to activate the VNC. VNC is inbuilt in macOS, but it is not activated by default. So we need to do that, right? And please refer tutorial on how to spin up the Amazon EC2 macOS instance and SSH or login to get started. If you have not already spinned up the macOS EC2 instance, right? So the first step is to set the password for the current user. So the command is sudo pass wd followed by the user that is ec2 hyphen user i have already changed one so that's the reason it's asking for the old password but in your case if that is the fresh instance it's directly going to ask for the new password right so do that And here I have successfully changed or set the password for the current user that is EC2 hyphen user. Now the next step is to activate the VNC within the Mac operating system. So again, we need to type a command. So maybe we will not type it's a bit long. I have that command handy. I will simply copy and paste it over here. Right. So here basically we are using the kickstart command line utility to activate the VNC server, right? So I will paste this command in the video description. So say enter. And as you can see, the remote management has been activated, right? Now, if you want to learn more about the kickstart command and the parameters or the flags that we have used over here, then what you can do is you can copy this line saying sudo man and paste that command and say enter. Now here you will get all the information uh, about the command. So here what we have used is that hyphen activate because we wanted to activate the remote management followed by the configure. And what we want to configure, we wanted to configure the access and the flag that is we want to turn on, right? Followed by the client option that we have used. You can also use allowed access for to uh, activate or, or give permission to the specific user right so it will be something like hyphen allowed access for followed by the specified users followed by the username right and then we had used client option to configure a few things regarding vnc vnc legacy and we had set some password using that right and then finally we had uh, restarted the agent with hyphen privs hyphen all that means with all the privileges right so you can learn more over here so i will quit over here now the next step is to navigate to the Windows instance or the Windows operating system and access the graphical user interface of the Mac OS, right? So uh, here we are going to tunnel VNC traffic over SSH to connect to the Mac OS GUI, right? So to do that, we will require the PEM file that we have used over here to SSH or login into this instance, right? So keep that file handy. Right. So now since I don't have the Windows operating system, uh, right, I have spinned up uh, Windows EC2 instance. So here it is, right? So I had spinned up this instance just to uh, demo this thing, right? Now to access macOS GUI, we will install VNC Weaver, right? So just navigate to realvnc.com slash connect download slash Weaver, right? And download the VNC Weaver, it's free, right? So download that first. And once you have downloaded, Please go ahead and open the command prompt. 
so i have already downloaded and installed that vnc viewer right so i'm going to open the command prompt so i will say navigate to desktop first because i have this pem file on the desktop right and now i will say ssh hyphen l followed by 5900 colon localhost colon 5900 followed by hyphen n hyphen i followed by the identity file that is last.pem in my case followed by the username that's ec2 hyphen user at the rate the ipv4 public address let me copy it from here and paste it over here say enter so i have explained this command in the previous tutorial so please feel free to refer that tutorial so now the next step is to open the vnc viewer so here i am here i have the vnc viewer open so now the next step is to connect right so where we need to connect so it's going to be the 127.0.0.1 followed by colon 5900 and say enter and it will prompt for the username and password so it's going to be the ec2 hyphen user followed by the password that you have set using sudo passwd ec2 hyphen user command right and say enter and as you can see we have successfully connected to the mac mini or the mac ec2 instance right enter that password again and you will be in that instance as you can see right if i click on about this mac here it is right here we have all the information and you can get started uh, with it with the development or whatever you want to do using mac os instance so guys uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible And if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time